holds such a special place in the hearts of people who've seen it. If you ask anyone what their favorite operas are, it's rare that La Boheme doesn't make the list, and it's usually someplace near the top. I know that's certainly the case for me. La Boheme is the most accessible. It has funny moments and sad moments and beautifully sweeping romantic moments. Because it is stunningly beautiful music with intense emotions that touch us on a level words cannot even describe. It's one of the critical masterpieces of all time. Puccini's work is magnetic in the way that it makes us feel, in the way that it makes us feel human and part of the story. Definitely the end of Act One. The end of the third act. All of Act Two. In Act Four, when Mimi has returned to Rodolfo and she's very ill and she appears to doze off, Mimi opens her eyes and Rodolfo sees that she's awake and there's this glorious key change from D major to C major and it sounds like the heavens have opened up. Musetta's prayer in Act 4. A character we assumed to be flirty and without depth is revealed to be the most pure figure in the opera. It was a complex artistic project with an incredibly well-woven story and a beautiful score. Whether you've seen an opera a hundred times or whether you've seen it only once, uh, I think Bohème, La Bohème is one of the ones that just takes your breath away. It's really about friendship, close friendship, close friendship between artists, and it's about love. Seeing an opera can be the most powerful art experience you can imagine. I hope it is the first collaboration of the year.